Today we're shooting a full wedding behind the scenes. I'm gonna be dealing with some of the harshest lighting during a ceremony that I've ever dealt with. Uh, you're gonna be seeing how I handle that situation. And then later he surprises his wife because that's no ordinary suit. Amazing. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. This looks incredible. Yeah, I'm his number one fan. I don't always start my weddings like this. Today I do. Yep. All the guys, get in, help him out. Back up, back up, back up. <laughs> Starting off with throwing the groom up in the air. This photo's great. <laughs> you want to do one more? <laughs> Guys, get in, help him, everybody. <laughs> one more. <laughs> His foot coming down was so close to hitting that guy on the head. I could not believe that. Are you okay? <laughs> I thought he was hurt and then he started twerking. <laughs> Let's have a black suit on the outside, yeah. That looks good. If both you guys are wearing black suit on the outside, it looks, looks pretty good. All right, so for flying V, make sure your chest is directly behind the guy's shoulder. So come in a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Left over right. That looks good. Yep, yep, yep. One, two, three. Make sure your F stop is at like F5 or 6 because you don't want people in the back getting blurred out. Awesome. And then a walking one. Walking Ready? One, two, three, go. Awesome. That's good. No, you should be like this. <laughs> and then let's have a kind of everyone like in a line, but then like peeking out around. So, like this. scoot back a little bit. Awesome. You gotta get some goofy ones with the guys. Keep it fun, keep it classy. Uh, in here, we took some shots at uh, this door of the dress. It's dress photo time and I cannot hang this photo yeah. center, which is bothering me. So we took it outside, got some nice symmetrical shots. Heck yeah. Such a beautiful venue. This is actually an abandoned, or not abandoned, um, retired museum. It's like some old home. I don't, I don't really know what it is, to be honest. Your, your camera would probably be even more bokeh because yours goes all the way down to 1.8 aperture priority. Yep. Yeah, that'll be bokeh-licious. It'll be good. So I'm over here shooting with a 24 to 70 2.8. She has the 85 1.8 and her photos are probably going to be better than mine at this. So I had her take these shots because she's getting more background blur, really making that dress pop. All right, big smiles right here. One, two, three. All right, I want you guys to look at the person most likely to be passed out till noon tomorrow morning. <laughs> That's a lot of me. <laughs> Make sure that they are drinking before you do this prompt, otherwise it's really awkward. All right. Look at the person most likely to be an Instagram influencer. <laughs> Look at the person getting married today. She's so beautiful. Nice. Awesome. Okay. Let's let's do one where you guys are cheersing and action. Cheers in, cheers in. And then sip. Love it. Did this prompt because we're doing videography as well and it looks good for the video. And then let's do one where you're holding holding it out towards me and looking at me. Is that rock? Can you get one of 
the back of the rope. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, we should do all of ours. Oh yeah, back of your robes, all of you guys. Yeah. Her first, her first says Mrs. Benjamin, it's really cute. Casey, get out. <laughs> Lucas, you pushed me! Perfect. One, two, three. Hold that. I'm gonna go really far back, hold that. One, two, three. All, arms all the way up with those glasses. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, after that, we moved into the indoors, got some ring shots, got their vows, put the rings on top of the florals. All right, get this, get this. So we always end up directing this shot um, for whatever reason. You would think it would be very candid and we would just be able to capture that moment, but for whatever reason, it just, we never get it. So we suck or maybe it's just not a real moment and we have to direct it. Yep, playing with your dress a little bit. All right, now we're doing a bridesmaid's first look. We got Abby in the right corner, as you can see there. She's getting uh, her reaction. We also direct this moment. I tell them how many times to clap, what octave to yell at. No, I'm totally kidding. All right, ready? One, two, three, big smile. Awesome. Hold out your ring like this. Hold, hold out your ring and then everyone be like, oh my gosh! Yeah, keep moving around. Kind of pretend like you're fixing it up a little bit. Beautiful. So we didn't really get much getting ready shots, so I had staged her uh, adjusting her earrings and kind of playing with her hair a little bit, not only for photo, but also for the video that we're creating for her, her wedding highlight video. You look amazing. Awesome. Perfect. And then, okay, so I want you to basically go through, pick any little hairs and straighten them out. Act like you're fixing her up, making her look. Tell her three things you appreciate or you're proud of her for. Okay. So from right there, just hold that. So symmetrical. Perfect. So flowers kind of down and then turn, do like a little half turn, like, like a look back. Go for it. Yes. Kill it. The look back, one of the best prompts for the bride solo. Awesome, and then look down at your flowers. Beautiful, and then relax that shoulder if it's flexed a little bit. There you go. Love how this shot came out. Beautiful. Actually. All right, and then look at me once more. Ooh. Awesome. Beautiful, okay. One, two, three, eyes right here, big smile. Awesome. Awesome. You look amazing. Yeah. This room is super tight if you can't tell. Then bring your flowers down to your right and just point them at the ground. Yes, like that. Perfect. Then do like one of those little half turns towards me. I'm like halfway out the door just trying to get the full room with my 24 millimeter. Uh, go ahead and like start walking up the stairs and like look back at me once you get to that like platform. It's gonna be like a, like a movie project. projection a little scene here, keep walking. So she's actually just going to her first look point. Well, they're not really doing a first look. She's just going out to this balcony right here and she really wanted this photo right here where she's above him, he's not seeing her. 
and then I talked them into doing a first touch because I thought it would look really cool, and it did. Awesome. Let me get it up close to your hands really quick. Interlace your fingers. By the way. So yeah, this is a first touch. They are not seeing each other till the ceremony. Both you guys eyes shut. Awesome. Probably my favorite photo this weekend. Yay. All right. Hey Brent, let me get it up close of just your boot in here real quick. Yeah, two seconds. Cool. That's it. All right. All right. So this is fully ready, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Here, let me get, let me get a wide really quick. Yeah, no worries. Get it. Get it. Work it. Pose it. Yeah. Yeah. When the officiant steals the show. Always getting those fine details. Oh, I thought that said M and M for some reason. <laughs> Let me get a super wide, really quick, David. When you're done. Bride's final touches. This was actually candid. That feels good. Yeah, that, that feels good. It's really good. <laughs> All right, it's ceremony time. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, the palm tree is casting a giant shadow on the guy on the left, causing a lighting nightmare, but I can't really do anything about it except for edit the photo the way it's edited, which is bringing up the shadows a ton, bringing down the highlights, and trying to just like even out the photo as much as possible. Still doesn't look great, but it is what it is. <laughs> Alright, my GoPro died, but yeah, everyone walks down the aisle, then the bride walks down the aisle. This was shot by my second photographer from the back. I'm standing right here. You can kind of tell where I am based on this photo. And the groom went into tears at the sight of his bride walking down the aisle. And then as soon as she arrives at the top, we dip out to the back right here. I get to take on the biggest role yet. I get to be the officiant for their wedding. I always like to get this nice wide shot at 70 millimeter focal length. I've officiated a few weddings before, but this one definitely feels different. It's not because I'm not getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> it's because these two are my best friends. <laughs> <laughs> we spent countless hours outside of work are going on random adventures. A lot of the ceremony is getting those basic wide shots, some of them, and then just waiting for moments to happen. Mostly because I was able to convince them that eating part of the every day after the gym was healthy. He deserved the gains. <laughs> Little creeper shot through the leaves. What well, used to be Tess and I going on adventures, turning to the trio you see standing here today. Got spicy gumbo, <laughs> strawberry waffles, and hot cocoa. Life was amazing. The riding group had prepared battles for each other.
Well, we're finally here. It only took us eight and a half years, but what am I on time for anything? <laughs> Being up here with you today, I can say that I know I'm marrying my soulmate. Being the shoulder to lean on when your Yankees aren't playing their best. <laughs> Ever. Staying ready, finger on the trigger, allows you to get these shots. Loving what I know of you. Most people assume women dream of their wedding day. I'm not ashamed to admit <laughs> that I've been dreaming those days since I was 18 years old. As a symbol of my love and my choosing you. 99% of the time, as soon as they do the ring exchange, the kiss is going to be very shortly after that, so be ready. So let me today, we'll stand up and walk back. My power invested me in the American Marriage Ministry. <laughs> I pronounce you husband and wife. Brent, you may kiss your bride. Is it necessary to take 20 photos? Probably not. Do I? Yes. Following the first kiss, they're so excited. Some of my favorite photos. One more kiss, one more kiss. I kind of wish they were looking at each other as they're walking down and he wasn't high-fiving everybody, but... <laughs> He's obviously a uh, very sociable. Nice. Congrats, guys. Good luck. Pretty good. Here. Okay, if you cannot see the camera, the camera cannot see you. Can everyone see the camera? Yeah. All right, one, two, three. I usually take like eight to 10 photos because someone's always blinking. Perfect. All right, eyes right here. So we're gonna play a game. Staring contest with my lens. No blinking, starts in three, two, one. Another trick is to start shooting on two because everyone blinks on three. Yeah, you are. All right, perfect. You guys are gonna kiss and then you guys are just gonna look at each other. Ready, one, two, three. Yes. You guys look at each other, big smiles, forget everyone else, okay? Ready, one, two, three, walk. Awesome. Go for a kiss. Go, go for a kiss. So he's about to show her his custom made suit of her dogs. Awesome, that was really good. So it's just a bunch of pictures of her dogs inside of his suit. I didn't want to do the Yankees because, you know. Next we have literally my favorite shot of the bride. Okay. Just gently, yeah. Yeah. gently yeah. place them like touching her. Things look okay. So close these gaps. So oh. let's aim them yes. all forward. Forward, Ash. Yep. yep. Like that, beautiful. One, two, three. Awesome. And then one, close your eyes. And then just close your eyes. And then close your mouth, just resting. Yes. And then one eyes right here. Awesome. Everyone give her a quick compliment. <laughs> oh, cute. Oh, that's really that cool. nice. That looks yeah, cool. That's really cool. Oh my god, Tess. One, two, three. Yo, your hair looks good. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. I think that's it for that. Unless you want to do individuals, we should probably do that. I would like 
real quick. It'll take okay. like 60 seconds if okay. everyone just boom, boom, boom. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay, next. Okay. Taylor, you're up. It needs to be like 20 seconds. I don't really know why I'm one, showing two, you this, three. but I feel like it might come in handy for awesome. whoever. Next. Um, one, two, three. to just show how quick and easy it is to get those individuals. It seems like such a headache, but it really is only like 60 seconds. Okay, we're good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just you two. So we were a little crunched on time at this point. So everywhere we go, I'm going to try to utilize that time to try to take photos. So we were actually headed over to the front door over here. And I said, hey, why don't you hold her back and we'll take some photos on the way over there. Okay, that was good. All right, let's go in front of the door here. Thank you. Okay. He's an expert. Yeah, he's way better than the other. Always yeah. take the time to make sure that dress looks perfectly laid out. It really, really matters. One, two, three, beautiful. The basic stand and smile pose is essential. And then I want you to go for a kiss and lean her back a little bit as you go for a kiss. Yes. All right, we're gonna do a prompt. So it's kind of like a little game. Okay. I want you guys to have a conversation. Okay. The only rule is every sentence has to start with the next letter of the alphabet. Okay. Okay. Are you hungry? Oh, she's good already. Did I tell him a little nervous? This prompt is one of my go-tos. It usually takes a few sentences for them to really start laughing. Um, and you're gonna see that right now. Keep going, keep going. Go get something How about I go do that? <laughs> um, have you had an age? He already did the age. <laughs> yeah. There you have it, a real candid moment of them genuinely laughing together. You might be saying to yourself, Andrew, why do you shoot photography with your pinky raised up? Because I'm fancy, okay? This is good, this is good. Okay. I want you guys to just go forward to forehead, nose to nose right here. Let's go really far back. So let's actually run around onto the grass. Just forehead to forehead, nose to nose. Shot came out really good. I really wish the fence wasn't there. Uh, Abby, my second photographer, got this shot from the side. Right there, beautiful. I wish this fence wasn't here. All right, one, two, three. Tess, you're gonna turn your face towards me and you're gonna rest your forehead into her temple. Oh. Right there, and just close your eyes. Perfect, um, more like, I guess rest your nose into her temple. Okay. Yep, and then just close your eyes, both of you. Let's get a shot right here of you guys holding hands, walking down. For it. Looking at each other. Obviously, I have to walk. Look at the steps. Yeah, careful. Decided to go with the vintage, grainy, black and white. Looks amazing. And then also the color. Awesome. Awesome. Looking back at her. Hey, look. It's the intro. Look at that. Awesome. Love it. Oh, you okay? Yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Heads up. I'm stuck. Alright, I want you to reach up, grab her chin, her chin just a tiny bit, and okay. give her a kiss. Awesome. I want you to tell each other the weirdest thing you love about each other. This can also create some candid laughs. It's all about having fun. That's great. This one's actually a walking one. So you're gonna be walking, looking back at her. I'll let you know what to do, hold on. This is like a really wide shot, so go really wide. Yes, this looks amazing. Um, I want you to whisper your favorite fast food order in her ear in a dirty voice. Ready, set, go.
Then give her a kiss on the temple. Then you close your eyes. Awesome. You guys look amazing. Face that way, spread apart one foot. Perfect, holding hands, just like that. Beautiful. And then... One last shot as you're walking, just hold hands, walk that way. Okay. And we're, we're out of here. Just hold one. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, let's follow. About to enter into the reception. Uh, some of the most crazy reception party photos I've ever taken. They got wild. You will not be disappointed. All right, it's reception time. Got some nice shots of the reception space. Their little table. Nice bokeh, the cake. So they are expected to do their grand entrance in a moment. And what do I do? Turn off my GoPro. Why? Because it died, actually. I usually turn off my GoPro pretty soon after it gets dark anyway. But uh, here's some shots I got before it got dark. So you're going to see that. Grand entrance, woo! Um, can you put your hand on her back? And then go for a kiss. <laughs> Love it, awesome. And then leave your hand on her back. Go for a kiss. If the reception space is set up for you to go this far behind them, highly recommend doing this shot. Love it. Love it. <laughs> All right, and that pretty much concludes the end of your directing for the night. As soon as you direct them for those last few shots at their table, you kind of want to leave them alone unless there's some like special photo they want later. Um, obviously, cake cutting, maybe you can assist where they're standing. But for the most part, you're pretty much hands off the rest of the night and you're just capturing everything candidly. I really need like a night vision GoPro if they even have that because this video would be amazing. These behind the scene clips would be epic. All right, this guy's headstand concludes the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching as always and I hope you enjoyed and learned something about wedding photography, how to be a better wedding photographer. Um, if there's anything you guys want to see, please let me know. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'm super excited to be here and share my knowledge on how to shoot weddings, behind the scenes info. These behind the scenes videos are really what got me to get more comfortable shooting my first couple weddings. Um, guy named Taylor Jackson, he also has videos. Uh, big fan of his. He is the one that uh, inspired me to start shooting behind the scenes wedding video too. So yeah, go check out his channel. Feel free to subscribe, comment, let me know what you liked, what you enjoyed. Uh, I'm more than happy to, I'll, I'll be responding to every single comment. Uh, thank you guys so much again.